This is Channel 9, first in Brisbane. property or die and uh, they didn't give me much time to do that I should... walk off or be carried off was the expression <laughs> and a very good evening thanks very much for joining us for another week of today tonight in man's fight to control nature there are some casualties many of the casualties are flora and fauna plants and animals but man too is suffering New diseases and new strains of old diseases have appeared, caused, many say, by the reckless use of poisons and pesticides. When sheep farmer Greg Wass was hit by such a mystery ailment, he knew from the start it was related to his use of pesticides in sheep. That was cold comfort for the ailment drove him and his, uh, from his livelihood and until recently forced he and his wife into a life of complete isolation. But now Greg is fighting back and from Glen Innes, Chris Adams reports. not a scene from a science fiction movie, nor is it any sort of stunt. It is in fact a man attempting to save himself from his enemies. His name is Greg Wass and these are his enemies, insecticides, aerosol sprays, weed killers and most chemicals used for the treatment of farm animals. Whenever Greg Wass ventures from his own property he must wear this homemade suit which protects him from those chemicals. It filters the air, taking out the remnants of chemical use which are all around us. It has its problems. Sometimes batteries don't charge as they should. And then it's a hectic scramble to get back to his car where he can hook up to the 12 volt system. While he waits, his suit fogs up. The suit is Greg's latest attempt to gain mobility, to be able to get around without suffering the effects of years of chemical use in the community. But it's limited and eventually he must return to the isolation of his own property. Greg maintains that his problem began in the late 1940s when he was using considerable amounts of sheep dip and agricultural sprays. It got worse. And uh, into the 1960s, I was having a lot of trouble with the stuff, with any of these things. Uh, I tried to move further and further away from the stuff until eventually uh, we'd got to the stage by about 1970 when it would only take a warm northwesterly wind blowing off the wool shed onto the house a few hundred yards away and I'd start to go down with this problem again. What sort of things happen to you? Oh, well, it can probably be best described as uh, uh, the, the approach to a nasty dose of the flu uh, to start with, uh, quite often not occurring for a day or so uh, after the first sort of contact and uh, uh, well, the only difference between it and uh, the approaching influenza, I would say, would be that there was no temperature change. But then the aches and pains and uh, not being quite with everything and uh, uh, not enjoying life like you really should, you know. Yeah. Does it bring on any uh, more serious effects, I mean, in terms of immobility? At this sort of... Yes, well, this is, the, uh, uh, um, this is the eventual result of nearly any contact these days is uh, 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 a painful immobility, uh, painful muscular immobility that's, uh, uh, if you try to move, which you often try to do with cramps and such things, with the onset of cramps, uh, that uh, uh, this uh, seems to aggravate the problem and uh, uh, lengthen the time that it takes to recover from it. What lengths have you had to go to in terms of uh, of, of your of, of changes to your lives? Uh, doctors realised that, uh, well, got me to realise the seriousness of the problem and uh, uh, told me the best thing I could do would be to leave my property or die and uh, they didn't give me much time to do that. I should Walk uh, off or be carried off was the uh, expression. Was walk, walk <laughs> off or be carried off and we... Uh, 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 we moved more or 
less within a fortnight. By his uh, middle age, Greg was getting to the point where he had to try and get away as far as he could from anywhere where he was likely to come in touch with the chemicals that had caused the problems and were still causing problems for him. That search uh, took him to three or four different properties, always looking, always trying to find the place where he would find isolation. Finally, he found it. And so he came here to this remote piece of bushland just outside Glen Innes. Well, it's uh, yeah, got high altitude, uh, which always seemed to suit me a bit. It's, uh, it's uh, a lot cooler, uh, which is very favourable. And uh, it's uh, all, all also isolated in that the property itself now, never had much stuff used on it uh, that's affected me. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, we've got control over the bushland around us. Even the house structure yeah. itself is uh, a steel framed place with five fibro uh, cladding and on a concrete block that doesn't need any uh, pesticide treatment, whatever. That's the house. Now, what about when you get out and about? This is where uh, your friend here comes in. <laughs> yeah, well, I take my own isolation with me. And uh, you know, with activated carbon filtration and uh, uh, portable battery uh, type bl blowers to uh, force the air through this. To get uh, out for two or three hours yeah. together safely without any after effects is a, a big step. For Greg Wass, even the things most of us take for granted present problems. Driving, for instance, is difficult in his bulky headgear. So Greg is working on a filtration system for his Toyota, an extension of the isolation of his property, a means of getting about which will give him just a little more freedom. But eventually he will have to leave the Toyota, and then the reality of his situation is again apparent. Even a visit to his daughter's property means donning the suit. What do you do when you give granddad a kiss? How do you give Kiss it through there. Do you? Show me how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes through the pipe. Does it? All the way up. And where does it get him? On the cheek. Does it? <laughs> the 20th century has posed its own particular problems for Greg Wast. But he has shown he will not be beaten. For Greg Wast has proven that good old Aussie initiative still exists. And with it, a sense of humour. Well, the reason for calling the thing the clown suit was uh, and the family suggested at the time that uh, I, I cut a slot in the front here that would take a 20 cent piece and that inside it I could stand up there and go... <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Chris Adams reporting from Glen Innes in northern New South Wales and a remarkable man, Greg Wass, with a rather amazing problem and uh, just another sidelight of one of the problems of living in the 20th century. Back with more after this break.